Y'all know this one, God's not dead, he's still alive. Y'all know it? God's not dead, no, he's still alive. All right, I'm gonna do it. Don't be excited about it. Let's make a way in, let's all sit. Green, did you find something of the Okay, all right. All right, here we go, it's gonna be on the screen. God's not dead, he's still alive. Sing it for the Lord, here we go. God's not dead, no, he's still alive. God's not dead. Fill it in my soul. Woo! Oh, over me. Love him. Love him. Love him in the morning. Love him in the new time. Love him. Love him. Love him till the sun goes down. God's not dead. He's still alive. God's not dead. Still alive. God's not dead. Let's sing another one. Give me another one, somebody. Trip bus, call, bus song or what? Yeah, let's do that one. Yeah, let's go. Fruit of the Spirit. You got this one. Huh? You don't know it? Oh, that's Miss Tania's song. Miss Tania. Nee, nee. Shanae, nee. Let's go. Dale, try to throw on your bus, you gotta help me. Yeah, no, Jesse, Jesse. Come on, Jesse. All right. All right, so yeah, this is all the fruit of the spirit, right? So it's very Thanks, Brother Jesse. You should be a little more excited. Yeah. And, and not, not. All right. This is my friend. That's my friend. Get excited. All right. Okay. <laughs> so it's a very, it's a very, very, very easy song. We go coconut, strawberry, banana, watermelon, and then we go twist your face together, okay? So we're going to sing it just at one time, let you guys get used to it, and then we're going to... We're going to figure it out, all right? So, the fruit of the Spirit's not a coconut. Fruit of the Spirit's not a coconut. If you want to eat co co coconut, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness. 
goodness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. All right, you guys got that? Good, all right. The fruit of the Spirit's not a strawberry. The fruit of the Spirit's not a strawberry. If you want to be a strawberry, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there's no law. Well, the fruit of the Spirit's not a banana. The fruit of the Spirit's not a banana. If you want to be a banana, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. The fruit of the Spirit's not a watermelon. The fruit of the Spirit's not a watermelon. If you want to be a watermelon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there's no law. The fruit of the Spirit's not a raisin. The fruit of the Spirit's not a raisin. If you want to be a raisin, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there's no law. All right, great job, everybody. All right, great job, everybody. Really, great job, guys. All right, what's another one? Give me another one. Give me a song. You got one, Damien? Me and Damien have been talking about baptism, praise God. He's ready to get baptized. Yeah, he's like, oh, what, which one? What? Bananas Unite. Who, who leads that one? Miss Candy? Miss Candy, you want to do that one? Come on over here, sister. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Bananas Unite. Hey, give Miss Handy a hand. Miss, Miss Handy. Who, Brooklyn? Yeah, Brooklyn, come on. Come on, Brooklyn. Uh, don't be a raisin, Brooklyn. Don't be a raisin. Salaman, come on, Salaman. Hey, hey, don't don't make me come down on the elbow. Come off the top rope. I'll come off the top rope with the elbow, buddy. I've been jumping off the top rope for years. Hey, listen, you better not be a raisin either. And, uh, all right, get up here. All right, here we go. You got a mic, Miss Ken? Does everybody need mics? Wow, we're loud. You're loud? No, but nobody out there can hear you. I'll hold it for you. Nobody's good. You sing it. You sing it. I'll do the words. Here we go. Ready? Bananas unite! Peel bananas. Peel, peel bananas. Peel bananas. Peel, peel bananas. Slice bananas. Slice, slice bananas. Slice bananas. Slice, slice bananas. Mash bananas, mash, mash bananas, mash bananas, mash, mash bananas, eat bananas, eat, eat bananas, eat bananas, eat, eat bananas. You know what? Guess what? God made bananas. Thank you, Lord. All right. Old soldier. Are right, you ready? You want to help me? You want me to do it? You want to do it? You want me to help? You want to help me? All right, all right. I'll lead it. I got it. I got it. You ready? All right. What do you guys want to help me? All right. Come on. All right, go get a, we're going to hold this one. Don't, listen, 
If this drops and falls, I sue your mom for a bunch of money. Okay, she, I'm gonna take her to court. Don't drop that. Hold on that thing. Since your mom's here, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm afraid of her. <laughs> All right, you guys, you guys got this one. You gonna do it? Or do you want me to help you? Uh, you can help. Okay, I'm going to just take a knee beside you so we can all be together. Okay. All right. You say what I say. 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 Oh, soldier. Oh, uh, uh. If I die in the combat zone, if I die in the combat zone, wrap me up and take me home. Wrap me up and take me home. Lay my Bible on my chest. Lay my Bible on my chest. Tell my Lord I've done my best. Tell my Lord I've done my best. One, two, three. One, two, three. Follow me. Follow me. Oh, soldier. Oh, oh soldier. Oh. Hey, they, you, hey, you weren't fooling them. Had to turn them girls down. Treat them like the, the Rochester parents. Turn them down. All right, one more, one more. You got one? Oh, yeah, yeah, everybody sit down. All right, so here's the deal. All you kids, listen to me, okay? Go ahead and sit down. Good, good perfect. You girls, you guys do Hey, listen, and I changed my message. I'm preaching a, a junior church message today. It's going to be awesome. Have you ever heard me preach? Oh, man. I'm going to be like, after it's over, after it's over, you're going to be like, Brother Burton is like the greatest. No, I'm just kidding. You'll be like, the Lord's the greatest. All right, here it is. So it goes like this. Everybody, if you've been saved in here, whatever day I call out, you're going to stand up. And when you stand up, you might do kind of like this. Not nothing crazy. And only if you got rhythm. All right, you go. Alright, alright, so it, it was called, it was on a Sunday. How does that go? It was on a Sunday. Alright, here we go. See, no, no. It was on a Sunday. Somebody touch me. It was on a Sunday. Somebody touch me. It was on a Sunday. Somebody touch me. Must have been the hand of the Lord. I see. It was on a Monday. Somebody touch me. It was on a Monday. Somebody touch me, must be the hand of the Lord. If you say it on Tuesday, here we go. It was on a Tuesday, somebody look, look, touch me. It was on a Tuesday, somebody touch me. It was on a Tuesday, somebody touch me, must be the hand of the Lord. It was on a Wednesday, somebody touch me. It was on a, you're black. Thursday and a Friday. Oh, all right. If you don't know what day it was, here we go. It was on a Sunday. Somebody touch me. It was on a Sunday. Somebody touch me. It was on a Sunday. Somebody touch me. Must have been the hand of the Lord. All right, good, good. That was awesome. All right, all right. Let's do this. I'm gonna pray. 
And then Brother JR and Miss Lisa are going to come sing. And then we're going to open up the Word of God to the book of Daniel. The book of Daniel. Everybody say the book of Daniel. Daniel. Like this. No, you got to be refined. Like this. Daniel. Yeah. Damien, 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 Damien. Say Daniel. Yeah. Sometimes you got another Damien. How about that? It ain't all about you, is it? All right, let's. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Elias. Elias, come on up here, buddy. Happy birthday. Come on, Elias. Man, I want. Oh, whoa. He is the man. Come on, brother. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's awesome. Hey, we're going to sing happy birthday to you. Hey. Yeah, no, we need Mikey and Salaam and Nair, or Mikey and Nadir and Naira to come back up for the birthday. We don't want we don't want Elias by himself. Come on, Naira. hey, hey, hey! Don't make me drop the elbow, girl. All right, and then who else did we have this morning? Brittany, she Brittany done cut cut bait. Yeah, no, no, go back and do it. Yeah, all right, everybody watch. No, you go back and run too. Like him. It's, it's, yeah, oh yeah. All right, all right, hold on. Ready, ready. Yeah. That's awesome. All right, happy birthday. Here we go. Elias, you ready? Elias like, uh, don't make me come down there. All right, here we go. Let's sing happy birthday. Happy birthday. That's it? You want one more? You good? You sure? You good? You get as much as you want. You want more? You good? You good? You good? Want more? All right, you good, all right. It's good. Lie said four is enough. Four is enough. All right. Hey, we've been here 13 years. And the, the greatest person for a birthday call ever is Elias. And look at Brother JR. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's just me. I did it. Oh, it's the Lord. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought, no, but I thought it was you, Brother JR, because that, 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 hey, that's little JR right there. A little white JR, but that's JR. I'm telling you, man, that boy is JR made over. And that, that's funny. He's going to be just like him, man. That's funny. All right. Let's go ahead and pray, and then Brother J.R. Miss Lisa is going to sing a song, and I'm just going to preach just for a few minutes, just a simple thought today, and uh, I want you you kids, I'm preaching, I'm, I'm preaching to help, I want y'all to listen, okay? It's going to be a good one, all right? So we need the Lord to help, so we're going to all pray right now. I want y'all to pray for me right now as we pray, okay? And we ask the Lord to bless the message in the service, and Brother J.R. Miss Lisa are going to come. Heavenly Father, Lord, we love you. And Lord, I thank you for these young people. I thank you for allowing them to be here. Thank you for the bus ministry. And thank you for our folks, Lord, who invest in the bus ministry. And Lord, what a what a what a joy it is that fills my heart to see happiness in the sight of these young people, Lord. And I pray, Father, you put your hands upon me and help me to say something that may help their life through the word of God. And then, Lord, help Brother J.R. Miss Lisa to be used by you. And I pray for these young people to do something big for you in their life. They'd be missionaries, pastors, pastors' wives, school teachers, uh, anything that you can use them for, Lord, that you'd use them in a mighty way. God, please hear our prayer on that, Father. And I pray, pray that you would direct their paths, help their mamas and daddies to be saved, and help them to and give, get into the Lord and then do a mighty work. In Jesus' name, amen.
watch their champion go wing down. But I will never count to my for I the wind is up. A gay rose to retain the title champion of love. He is higher than the highest, greater than the great. No one will ever take his power away. He is more mighty than the mightiest. He reigns from above. Is the old time undisputed? That's a good one. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm very thankful for these young people that ride the bus. I think for bus workers. And let me tell you something. That's high on God's list is serve, serving the young ones. Uh, he says, uh, you know, it's better for a millstone to be hung around your neck and thrown into the ocean than to offend one of these little ones. And I, that's a blessing to be able to see these kids here. And um, I'm very thankful uh, for the bus ministry. And uh, Brother JR is thankful for the bus ministry because that's how Brother JR was reached. And that's a blessing. And so, Damien, do you mind if I tell, do, I, do you mind if I say what you said when I asked you, do you like Brother JR? Is it okay? I said, Damien, do you like Brother JR? Look at this, Brother JR. I said, Damien, do you like Brother JR? He goes, love him. I mean, I'm just telling you, man, that, that right there, huh, I'm, I'm just telling you, that, <laughs> I thought, my goodness, that, that's, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. That, that, that's heartfelt, and, um, and I'd do anything for these kids, and I'm glad I got to see them today, and I needed that. I, I, I don't see them all the time, and, and I, I think this is just a wonderful day. And so, to Daniel chapter number three, very quickly, and like I said, I'm not going to belabor the message, but I... I do want to preach the message, and it's not long. I won't preach it in its entirety. Uh, but uh, Daniel chapter number three, and I want you to look at verse number verse number one. Then you can just, you can just remain seated. Just remain seated. It's okay. Bible says Nebuchadnezzar the king made an image of gold whose height was three score cubits and the breadth of it was six cubits. He set it on the plain of Dura in a province of Babylon. Listen to me now, young people. This, this king, is, this wicked king, he makes this big giant statue of himself. And he's a bad man. He's not a good man. He's, he doesn't know the Lord, doesn't know anything. And, and listen to me now. He, he makes this giant statue, and he says, look, when I start playing the music, and he's talking to the whole city, he's talking to all the people, and he says this. He goes, when I start playing the music, I want everybody to bow down to my statue. And listen, as Christians, and, and, and we're getting ready to go back to school. Some of y'all are back. Are y'all in school already? Yep, man, back in school, then we start on Wednesday. As Christians, we're not to bow down to what the world tells us to bow down to. Nebuchadnezzar made this giant statue, and, and when he made the statue, he said, we're going to bow down to it, and we're going to make sure that we do what we say, that you do what I say. 
And, and when he did that, he says this in verse 6, Whoso falleth not down and worship shall be that hour cast into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. Everybody know what a furnace is? It's where you, you, you got a bunch of fire and heat. And he says, if you don't bow down to and this is a true story, young people, if you don't bow down to this, I'm going to put you in that furnace and I'm going to kill you. And you're going to have to do what I say. And, and it's very interesting and then and he says, when that happens, you better do it. And so in verse number in, in verse number 16, verse number 15. Now, if you be ready at what time you hear the sound of the cornet, flute, sack, butt, psaltery, and, and, and listen, young people, if you're going to be in the orchestra and you're going to play an instrument, don't ever play the sack butt because it doesn't sound right. All right? Play something else. And the dulcimer and all kinds of music, you fall down and worship the image that I've made well. But if you worship not, you should be cast that same hour in the midst of the fire burning furnace, for the burning fiery furnace. And who is that God that should deliver you out of my hands? And then we see in verse 16 the three Hebrew children. Any of you young people, little guys, know any of the names of the three Hebrew children? You do or don't? Not really? Okay. Here it is. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Miss Carlene, I learned it years ago, and one bad Negro. <laughs> Shadrach, Meshach, and one bad Negro. And listen, when you look in history, Abednego had a big John Afro. And he carried around with him, it's in history, a bag of hot Cheetos all the time. <laughs> Who likes hot Cheetos? Flaming hot chills, that's what I'm talking about. And so, and jalapenos, all right. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego with the hot Cheetos all answered and said unto King Nebuchadnezzar, we're not careful to answer thee in this matter. Listen to me now. If it be so, our God whom, ser whom we serve is able to deliver us from the, fiery bur the burning fiery furnace. And he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. But if not... Be it known unto thee, O king, we will not serve thy gods nor worship the gold image which thou hast set up. And then we learn in the Bible that Nebuchadnezzar got upset, young people, because Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they said, no, no, we're, we're not going to bow down. Young people, and even the folks in this room, listen to me. It's important that we decide what we're going to do right now. Because the world is going to try to bow, get you to bow down. I love all the young people in our church. And I mean that. And there's going to have to be decisions that you're going to have to make at some point in time where you have a relationship with the Lord where you'll say, you know, I'm not bound down to that. I'm going to stick with the God of heaven, the one that, the one that gave his life for me, and I'm not going to let anybody tell me what to do. And, and, and understand it's very important. And so what happened was this. They started playing that music, and Shadrach, Meshach, and Abignego, they wouldn't bow down. They said, no, no, we're not going that way. We're going we're gonna to serve the Lord, Jesus Christ. Me and Damien were talking today, and I was looking at the baptistry and talking about baptism. I'm excited about it. And, and he said, what about Brooklyn? She get baptized there? And I said, she did. She got baptized right there. And I said, we're going to talk to your mama about it, Damien, and, and see what we can do. And, and, I, and I'm very encouraged by that because I'm going to tell you something. These guys deserve a chance. And our church is the, our church, let me say it one more time, our church is the ones who are going to give them the best chance and not to bow down. There have been lots of folks that come through church and Liberty Baptist and got older and they bowed down. They went right out into the world and they bowed down. And can I tell you right now, there ain't one of them that's got peace in their hearts right now, not one. Some of them have bowed down into to things that we would have never imagined. Amanda's boy, uh, Jonathan, 45 years in prison, bowed down, made, made one bad decision with one person, met him, and one week later, his life was wrecked. One week, and he went to prison for 45 years. And so, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they said, no, we're not going to. We're not going to bow. And they were serious about it. And so, when the music started playing, listen to me now. There were a lot of Christians there, Damien, lots of people, almost maybe like us. And when he said to bow down, everybody did 
except for three people. And let me tell you something, guys. Listen to me. At that time, in captivity, there were a lot of God's people there. They were practicing uh, uh, what God had told them to do. They were doing what God was telling them to do, but then they had a decision to make. And out of all the thousands that probably were there that day, only three of them decided to stand. And listen, this is, this is not a fairy tale. This is a history book. And, and so it's very true what happened. And, and so why didn't they bow? Well, they had a relationship with their Lord. They decided that God was going to be important and they were not going to bow down. They were not going to do what the world told them to do. In verse number 12, we see that there are certain Jews whom thou hast set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, O king, have not regarded thee. They serve not thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Hey, it's very simple. Whatever the world tells us to do that goes contrary against this book, listen to me. It is not a law for us anymore if it goes against this book. You say, well, I think we ought to obey all the laws. No, no, if it goes against the book, we, we ought not obey any of that. And then this, and that's going to, that, we're, we're getting close to that might come down to pike here in America pretty soon. Just be honest with you. And we got to decide where we're going to stand. And the, the kids that are in this church today, man, we've got to pray that they get that relationship and understand that because they're going to be tempted to bow. Number one, they would not bow. Verse number 16, they, they would not budge. They said, Nebuchadnezzar, we're not careful to answer you. We're not worried about it. If God can't do it, then we're, gonna, we're, 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 we're ready to go down because we're going to do it with God. We're going to let God deliver us. Hey, young people, listen to me. You get your relationship with the Lord and let God deliver you. He can do it. He is real. I, I've been I'm back against the wall many times as a Christian. I just have to get down and pray, God, please. Please come, Lord. Please come, Lord. Hey, all you young people, look at me. Stand up, Brother Jesse. Brother David, stand up. You, you, Brother Dylan, you stand up. So look at me, guys. See that, the kid right there? He was three years old when he started coming here. He's older now. And he, he decided he was going to stand with the Lord. That's awesome, isn't it? Are right, you sitting down? Look at Brother, Brother David back there. David was like seven. Go ahead, Sasha. You stand up too. <laughs> Nadira, Nadira was 10. Hey, y'all can sit down. Nadira told me her name was Sasha when I met her on a little bicycle. She goes, I'm Sasha. And then Jesse started coming when he was seven. You guys know Jesse from the junior church? And, and you, you guys know Brother J.R.? Guess what happened when Brother J.R. was 12? You're 12? Uh, you, you, oh, how old were you? Man, you were probably before you were born, your mama was coming here. How old, how old are you? 10? Yeah, no, your mom came here before you was ever born, weren't you? I mean, huh? Yeah, yeah, so you, you mind this. You've been coming here your whole life. You ready? And so listen, you know, people listen to me. These guys have learned that they don't want to bow down or budge because they learned at an early age, those, those three Hebrew children, Hebrew, they call them the Hebrew boys, Hebrew children, they were young people when they started being uh, coerced and to do the wrong thing, but they took some stands. And they said, well, we're not going to budge to that. Hey, mama, daddy, you better pray for your kids. Nobody's exempt, not mine, nobody's. One decision can determine the rest of their life. And listen, God's real good to us. And, and we, don't want, we don't want that. We want them to make sure that they, they have that chance. Those guys could have argued. When everybody bowed down, they could have said, well, everybody's doing it. We might as well get down. No, no, they didn't. And listen, Christians, I'm just telling you now, a lot of Christians, it won't be long. Mark my words. Five years from now, there'll be Christians saying abortion's okay in churches. They'll be like, oh, it's okay. It's all right. Why? Because that's how, that's how the tide moves. That's how it all moves. And, and boy, they'll be, they'll be saying, you know, you already got churches saying some of that stuff, homosexuality and all that stuff's okay. And the Bible says it's not okay. 
I'm not mad at them. I'm just mad at the devil. And I hate the devil's tr tricked anybody into believing that. But, but so there's a lot of stuff that they're going to try to feed these guys. They're going to grow up in a rough, rough America. But Lord willing, God's going to send revival through us and through the church. And, and we got to make sure that we don't budge. And, and, and I was talking to Brother Damien uh, earlier. And, 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 and I love Damien. But Damien will be the oldest, per, oldest boy in our, our school this year. Oldest young man. And I said, but Damien... You're the leader whether you want to be or not, buddy. You're going to either lead the one way or the other, but you will lead. You have no choice being the oldest one. And, and, and I love him because I think that helped him to realize, you know, I did is a big, a big, big opportunity here, a, a big responsibility. And, 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 and listen to me, uh, what we need is some, some parents and some older brothers and sisters and, and, and young people to say, you know what, I'm not going to bow down to the world. If they say it's against God, I'm not going with it. If they go against God, I'm not going with it. I'm not going to budge. I'm going to tell them, look, I'm standing with the Lord. I, I, I'm standing with what God wants me to stand with. Look at verse 20. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in the army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the burning, fiery furnace. So now, Damien, they're going to put them in the furnace because they wouldn't bow down. They're going to burn them alive. Let's listen to me when I read this, okay? Young people, listen to me. Y'all stop drawing. Look and listen to me real quick. Then these men bound in their coats, their hosen, and their hats, and their other garments were cast into the midst of the burning, fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace was exceeding hot, the flame of the fire slew the men that took Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The fire was so hot, the guys that threw them in died. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, or, I'm sorry, and these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down into the midst of the burning, fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished and rose up in haste and spake and said unto the counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? Then answered and said, they answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. You hear that? They threw three in. Everybody talk to me. How many was in there? Four. four. They threw three in, but four were in there. Who was the fourth one? Jesus. Jesus was in the fire. You know, some of the, these, old, these Bibles, and we always tell you the King James Bible, some of the, 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 the Bibles make it a little son, and, and, and like son of a God, of the gods is what they say. But that's not what that Bible says. And so the, the scholars will say, well, they didn't know about the son of God. God knew about the son of God. And, and, and then the Messiah was coming. And, and, and he understood that. And Daniel definitely, uh, and these, these, uh, these prophets would understand a lot of that stuff. Hey, listen to me. They didn't bow. They didn't budge. And guess what? They didn't look back when they threw them in. They said, you know what? I'm, we're going. We're fine. Bind us and put us in. And then number four, they didn't burn. Because they looked in there, and the Bible tells us that they were standing in the fire, and they weren't dying, and they weren't burning. And that's because the Lord protected them. And then the Bible says when they came out, they didn't even smell of smoke. Hey, listen, God can keep us from the stink of the world. God can keep us from smelling like the world, acting like the world, talking like the world, and being like the world. And we ought to be different. There, there ain't nothing cool about people with no peace and, and, and living for each moment of the day, and that's it. Listen, this life will not always be what we think it is, but we'll always have God who is. And, and it's important, folks. Listen, young people. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were, they were heroes. And they, they, were, they were men. They were kids. The Bible says they were the Hebrew children. And so they stood for right when nobody else would. And so you get ready to go, but you're at school, and, and, and you young people are so young, you may not have a problem with this kind of stuff. But even in our Christian school, I, I, would, I would be a fool to think everybody in the Christian school just is sold out for the Lord. I'm not talking about our Christian school. I'm talking about Christian schools all around. No, people are going to they're gonna have to not bow down 
to the world that comes into the Christian school through other Christian kids. They'll bring the world in. And, and, and they, can't, they can't budge. And they can't look back and they don't worry. They're not going to burn. But also in our workplaces, wherever you work at, man, you've got to stand up for the Lord. You've got to say something. You've got to let people know where you stand. The Bible tells us that our feet shot with the preparation of the gospel, that is an armor. Man, we tell people we're with Jesus and they don't offer us the things they used to. They'll kind of stay away. Now, we live in a Catholic town, which uh, most people think, you know, when I tell them, Pastor, they don't regard me by, uh, you know, not using bad language or anything. They, they can talk like that around the priest and all that stuff, and, and that's okay. And I'm not mad about them. I'm not worried about the language. But, but they don't offer me to do the things I used to do. And so it's very important that we pray for these young people. Hey, y'all repeat what I said. They didn't bow. Say it. They didn't budge. They didn't look back. And they didn't burn. And why was that? Because of Jesus. And they stuck with Jesus, and they didn't bow down to people. If I got up here and told all of you, hey, guys, bow down to me today, you'd, you'd say, that's, that's foolish, Pastor. That is foolish. But there's no difference in that and buying, bowing down to the ideologies of what the world teaches us that goes against Christ. See, so man, all we do is, we, it's all about Christ. It's all about Christ. And I've never, guys, listen to me. I say this all the time. Before I ever became a pastor, before I ever went to Bible college, I loved being saved and knowing the Lord. It was an awesome life from the beginning when I decided eight months after I got saved that I wanted to give God my life. And it was awesome. I remember sitting in the car with Brother Paul and, and, and almost counseling Brother Paul. Brother Paul said, man, it's just, you know, some of the joy is gone. And he said, he said this, he goes, I have trouble walking with God sometimes, Brother Burton. He says, my wife sits in a recliner and cries and cries out names on the on a prayer list praying, and he said, I'd, I'm just kind of struggling. I said, but Paul, you just got to get close to the Lord. Hey, and you know why he would tell me that? Because obviously, because God, I was excited. And, and, and so I'm not saying that I've always been excited. I've lost it too, and I've bowed down to the world's ideologies many times. TVs and music and, 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 and or not music, but TVs and uh, and, 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 and things that, that, you know, thoughts and stuff like that. And, man, look, God's good, man. We don't want to bow down to it. Because, because if you do bow down, you, you're going to be easily moved, swayed. And you don't want that. There's not a person in the world that walks away from the life of God and says, man, I'm doing just fine. It's great. It just doesn't work that way. God tells us in the Bible it's worse to walk away, get saved and walk away than it would be not to get saved on this earth. It just, it's not a happy life. And so that message is for these young people. Let's pray. And it was for all of us, really. But I thought when I saw them, I thought, man, I want to preach that message and, and probably could do a better job, but I'm going to just pray and ask the Lord to bless. And, and now let's, let's, let's pray for them today, okay? Maybe, maybe we ought to get, get, get a list of their names, Miss Lisa, Miss Tania, and we need to pass, get to get, pass them or text them all to the church on that line. And, and let's all start praying every day for them. And then pray for all our kids. Man, we ought, we ought to be doing that anyway. I hope that we are. Uh, let's pray. Father, we love you. Thank you for your love for us. Thank you for being good to us, Lord. I pray, Father, you would help us to live for you. Help each one of these, uh, every person in this room, Lord, to not bow down to what the world thinks, but to stick with the Bible, stick with Jesus. And Lord, it sounds like a kid's message, but I preached this message in our church years ago. And, Lord, I, I pray that you would help us to, to realize how important it is to, to not budge and to not look back. I mean, it's easy to look back and start regretting sometimes things because of, of our minds and because of our, uh, that we're not, because we're finite and we're not, we, we, we don't think right sometimes. But, Lord, I know that you can strengthen the church, strengthen our church, God, please. Strengthen these young people. Strengthen these young people for our school, the Christian school. I pray that you put your hands upon each one of them. Lord, in a mighty fashion, 
We sure love you, Lord. We sure need you, and we cannot make it without you. And I pray for your hand to be upon it. In Jesus' name, amen. Folks, you're at the altar praying. If you'd like to come, you come. If you need to be saved, why don't you just come down here and let us take a Bible and show you how you can get saved. teenagers and anybody else that can help to